In today's five minute training video, I'm going to be talking about managing your Outlook contacts and showing you some tips and shortcuts you probably didn't know you could do with an Outlook. Now the version I'll be using today for my demo is Outlook 2007, but you'll find that most of what I'll be covering works in other versions of Outlook as well. There are four basic ways for creating contacts within Outlook. One is add them manually. Another is the right mouse click method. Another is the drag and drop method. And the last is importing from a file. Now importing from a file is a great way to manage a large amount of contacts and I'll actually be covering that in my next video. For today, I'm gonna to be concentrating on the first three. Now, if you're like most people, chances are you've been creating your contacts manually one by one, which is exactly what I used to do until I learned about these other methods. Now, if you're not familiar with the right mouse clicking and dragging and dropping, you're in for a big surprise when you see just how easy it is to add new contacts. Now, the first method, again, is how most of us have been managing our contacts, and then we add them in one by one. So what we do is you go to contacts. Right now, you can see I don't have any contacts created, so we'll create one. So you click on the new button up in the upper left-hand corner here. Click on new. And then it's basically you just fill in the blanks. So you type in the person's first name, company, uh, job title, whatever information you may have about the person, and most importantly, of course, is their email address. And it, as you can see, it, it automatically dropped down display as. And of course, again, you can continue filling this in, web address and what other information you may have on this person. And when you're finished, you simply click save and close in the upper half, left hand corner here. And there you have your first contact. So again, that's how most of us have been creating contacts. But again, I wanna show you some uh, shortcuts and tips and tricks you may not be familiar with. So let's go back to your inbox. And I've got a couple of sample emails here. Now most people include uh, an auto signature these days. So it has their name, title usually, company and company information and their phone number. So the first method I wanna show you is the right mouse click method. So what you would do here is in any email that you receive, you simply right mouse click on the sender. So right up here that for our demonstration purposes, here's the sender here, training account. So I would right mouse click here and from here you can see this pop-up menu that comes up and simply select add to Outlook contacts. Outlook will try to bring over as much information as it can about that person. So it brought over the full name. It can't really read the signature because it thinks that's part of the email. So you can see it did not fill in company, your title or any of that, but it did bring over the email address. So basically if you had more information about this person, you could put that in. But as far as an email contact, you have the necessary information right now. So you can click Save and Close. And now you've got your second contact. See how that was so simple to do. But I've got even a better method. This is what I use almost exclusively now once I learned about this method. And it's the drag and drop method. So taking the same email, what we can do is simply drag this email to your contacts. And when I say uh, drag and drop, if you're not familiar with that, what I'm referring to is you left mouse click, hold your left mouse click button down and simply drag it down to your contacts here and release. And see what that does. It brings over up here in the upper left hand corner, it brings over the same information that Outlook knew, the person's name uh, and email address. But what it also does is include the entire email message here on the right hand side in the notes field. This is where it gets really cool. Let's get rid of the name here since this is a made up name. And let's put my name in up there instead. Easiest way to do that is highlight my name of the person's name and then just drag and drop that as we did before up to name field and it moves it right over. Do the same for title the company name move that to the company field you've got the address right here highlight that move that to address and it's got an extra space in here we'll clean that up highlight the phone number move that over cell phone and finally the website address move that over 
you've just created a con with just a few clicks, filled in all of this information, and have a complete contact for this person. That was so simple. Now over on the right hand side, under the notes field here, you want to get rid of all this extra information that you probably don't need. So here's a great shortcut to do that. Click anywhere within this field. And when I say click, I mean left click to highlight and move your cursor there. And then hold down Control A. Control A means highlight everything. So what, with everything highlighted, you simply click the delete button and away it goes. Click save and close and you've just created this contact. Now since we already it had the email address for the last one we, we just did, simply create this as a new contact. And there you go. If you go back to your contacts down below here, here's what we just created. Now here's another trick I like to use. The notes field on the right hand side here is free form, meaning you can type anything you want in there. There's no limit on what you can type in there. But I use this field to make my Outlook contacts more of my contact management system. What I mean by that is I'll put a lot of notes in here that may come in handy later. For example, in my line of business, I, I deal a lot with uh, calling tech support for various reasons. So what I'll use this field for is while I'm on hold with tech support or as I'm talking to a person, I will simply put in the date, the time that I, I called or, or opened this ticket, any information that I may need to know about it, uh, the problem I was calling on, if they gave me a ticket number or what have you, I save that in the notes field here. So anytime I go back to it, if I have to follow up on a problem, I've got all the information I need right there. It's also a great place to put in notes about a person that you want to remember. Um, spouses' names or birth dates or, or anything, maybe their interests so that when you're on the phone with this person, you can bring up the contacts and you have all of that information right there at your fingertips and they think you remembered everything about their life and they'll be very impressed. That's how I use that. So this concludes our five minute training video. I hope you found this information helpful and I'll be continually adding more and more training videos to my website so be sure to check back often. In my upcoming series I'll be talking about how you can use Outlook as a time management tool. I'll also be giving you more tips and shortcuts for using the calendar and how to stay organized using colors and prioritizing your tasks that you'll be sure to want to see. Thanks for watching.